Uh, one thing that has really helped me in my personal journey to overcome the doubt is to be confident. I am telling you the truth that if you do not have any confidence within yourself, please call yourself for a meeting, gather it up, learn, 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 and have the confidence. Because if you believe in you, you have the confidence in you, then there is very much big probability that you will doubt your doubts you will overcome them you will walk through whatever obstacle or whatever thing that is bringing in doubt and you will go to the other side as a victor so this is my challenge to you develop grow the confidence work on it every day every moment make sure that you are confident within yourself know that you can handle i got the muscle i can be able to do this i am not defeated by anything and that is the courage and that is what makes us overcome the doubts that come and then we cross the line and we are not defeated. to my youtube channel uh, thank you for taking your time to be here and as usual we're just having good content just lovely stuff here we discussed about matters that bother us in this life so that we can be able to conquer and grow stronger every single day so today we are having something that is really interesting or something rather that people go through and i thought why not talk about it? Why not have my view over it? Because it is something that really bothers people here and there. But mostly, you will have to encounter it in your life. It is not possible to go through life without doubt. And doubt, doubt is a feeling of uncertainty. And all the time, because we have to keep on making choices and decisions in our lives, will always be at a place of doubt kinda and you're thinking will this work will it not work will i go through will i get that promotion will i be able to raise this child properly so every part of our life as we go through life there is a possibility that you could be doubting whether you will get a promotion whether they will raise uh, your pay whether you will make it safe through the journey i mean there is always doubt that comes in through the the many things that we encounter in life but today i want us to look at what do we do at that point of life what do we do exactly so that we beat it and we over come in and we come to the other side stronger and better because it will always visit it will always be there one you have to trust in the sovereignty of god for me that has been very profound i've always had maybe doubts because at one point i'm a parent when i was getting married i was asking myself it's not that i was doubting but you always have a question at the back of your mind will i be able to work this out will i be this will i be that and there are those questions that come but again what gave me the confidence is my uh, my trust in god because he's the almighty and he holds everything in place and is able to help you so that was a part of comfort for me i was able to to look at him for who he is and understand that he always is was and is and will always be before time so i can always lean and trust in him and know that everything will be as it is supposed to be so that 
the sovereignty of knowing that there is a God in heaven and with us and and lives with us is a part of comfort that helps me to overcome doubt and has always helped me in my journey as I go. Another life. thing is that I keep remembering my past achievements. Sometimes you doubt on a job if you're taking a new job or you're maybe having another baby and you're wondering, will I be able now to co to concentrate on the two? of them or on the three of them or four of them but it is very necessary to remember that previously i have done this before or i am able and capable i have the ability to handle whatever is presented before me so make the point of always remembering your past achievements and remind yourself there was this mountain there was this thing that i didn't know i wasn't sure there was the thought that kept coming in here and there but i overcame i won and when you remember that you will definitely win and overcome the doubt that comes in our lives when we are living this took me some time before i really understood it and accepted it knowing that i will not always have all the answers ah relaxing i will not know everything same case applies to you you will not know everything and it is okay take it one step at a time like when i was having my first child i didn't know how to handle babies i didn't know what to do how to go about it but i decided that i'm gonna take it it is okay not to know everything and that is for sure a relief because you doubt most of the time because you want to be so certain, so sure that nothing will go wrong. But it doesn't always work that way. So you have to work on yourself and understand and embrace the fact that you will not always know everything. Uh, one thing that has really helped me in my personal journey to overcome the doubt is to be confident. I am telling you the truth that if you do not have any confidence within yourself, please call yourself for a meeting, gather it up, learn, 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 and have the confidence. Because if you believe in you, you have the confidence in you, then there is very much big probability that you will doubt your doubts you will overcome them you will walk through whatever obstacle or whatever thing that is bringing in doubt and you will go to the other side as a victor so this is my challenge to you develop grow the confidence work on it every day every moment make sure that you are confident within yourself know that you can handle i got the muscle i can be able to do this i am not defeated by anything and that is the courage and that is what makes us overcome the doubts that come and then we cross the line and we are not doubting anymore or we are going and walking through the doubt and overcoming and making it anyway so it is my my encouragement to you today that you choose to be confident in the sole person that you are who you are and your abilities believe in you believe in yourself cheer yourself up talk to yourself that you are a conqueror and you can handle this and you can overcome it and sure as you say it it will come to pass so make it a habit to develop and cultivate the confidence within and you will see wonders you will work it out you will wonder just what happened and you will have the fruits of the victory that you are working towards and you will have overcome uh, be mindful of what we are thinking is also very critical because even the scriptures tell us that as a man thinketh, so is he. And you see, the, the thoughts that you, you, you take or the thoughts that you let in your life will bring the reality. And when you doubt so much, when you keep on uh, allowing the, uh, the, thought, the doubts to run into your system, that is the reality that you will showcast. That is what will be seen in your life. 
So the most important thing here is to watch what you're thinking all the time. This is a personal responsibility to make sure that you are watching what is going on through your head so that you are able to make the best decisions, so that you are able to do the right things, so that you are able to overcome your doubt. Then it is very necessary to put to watch what you are thinking. Uh, another thing is this one I really plead with you to stop being the harshest critic of yourself. You have made mistakes in the past. Things didn't go right. There was a choice that you made that didn't end up exactly how you wanted it to be. But again, there are other things, as I said. You can look at your past and see the achievements that you have made. But most of the time, we are there looking at ourselves and thinking, this one, I can't, I failed here, I'm terrible at this, I can't do this. And you even have conversations with people when they are really in doubt, the way they will describe themselves makes you wonder the way they will describe their inability to handle anything then makes you know that they are really letting the doubt take over but in this place we are saying that yes we've made mistakes in the past yes there are things that we did that didn't end up the right way and we had doubts before so they they took place and made us realize that it was a mistake or something was didn't go as we expected but then we cannot keep on that. We cannot keep criticizing ourselves and looking down at ourselves just because we made a mistake. The best thing is to dust ourselves and wake up and try. But even now, we are trying from a perspective that is informed from a place of knowing that I can do this or I cannot do this because this road will lead me to the place that it led me last time. So we are working from an, in, uh, an informed point of view. And that is very necessary and those are the steps that we take to make sure that our life is running properly i do not say that we will not doubt i assure i assure you that doubt you cannot uh you cannot lack it in your life in every decisions because life is made up of decisions and you will always make decisions and there will be that point where you think that i am not in a position to handle this or i can't do it but you have to purposefully choose to overcome it so that you can get the victory on the other side of uh, not as a person who who really believes and puts their trust in god i then encourage you to always pray when you're making whatever decisions whether it is a new job whether it is a new decision in your relationship in bringing up your children in going to a place in shifting in moving pray god is always listening to us and giving us direction there is a scripture that says that the holy spirit of god will lead us into all truth try him Try him. It's an option. It's a free option that is so workable, you won't even believe it. Just go ahead and try. Talk to God. Talk to him through prayer. Just pray about the decisions that you're feeling that maybe I should make this, maybe I shouldn't, or I should. When you feel that feeling of doubt, of uncertainty, of not knowing which is the best way, pray. Just kneel down or sit down quietly. Just talk to him to let you know which is the best way or how to handle it, how to maneuver, how to go and navigate around it. That one is a sure free deal that will work 1 million percent all the time. I have worked with that and I know that it always works. So when you feel doubt, when you feel fear, when the uncertainty is so much, then you can always have time. You can always take time and pray and everything will run as it is supposed to be. I do not uh, come here to tell you that I have a solution, an antidote for doubt. No, we will always have it running behind us when we want to make decisions, when we want to do new things, when we want to try, when we want to venture, it will always come in. But then we have the assuredness of having the confidence of not overthinking, of looking at God and prayer and trusting in his capabilities. So we are not 
not alone in this. We can always overcome and we can always doubt our doubts. That uncertainty, we can always work around it and take it down. So take the chances. Make sure that you remember these points for you when you are in, a, in that state of doubting or not certain about a matter. Remember that you're good enough, you are able to handle it, and you can do this all the time. Let us confidently doubt our